I've served tyrants most of my life. They all talk about destiny. She's a girl who walked into a fire with three stones and walked out with three dragons. How could she not believe in destiny? Perhaps that's the problem. Her life has convinced her that she was sent here to save us all. And how do you know she wasn't? Then there's the problem of Jon Snow. Perhaps it's actually a solution. You know them both. Tell me, who do you think would make a better ruler? He doesn't want the throne. That's why he bent the knee. Have you considered the best ruler might be someone who doesn't want to rule? We're discussing treason. Don't pretend you haven't thought about it. Of course I've thought about it. Thoughts aren't treason. He's temperate and measured. He's a man, which makes him more appealing to the lords of Westeros, whose support we are going to need. Joffrey was a man. I don't think a cock is a true qualification, as I'm sure you'd agree. And he's the heir to the throne. Yes, because he's a man, cocks are important, I'm afraid. What about my earlier proposal? They could rule together as king and queen. She's too strong for him. She'd bend him to her will, as she already has. He could temper her worst impulses. As you have. You're drinking quite a lot. A Targaryen father and a Stark mother. John's the one man alive who might actually be able to keep the North in the Seven Kingdoms. How many kings and queens have you served? Five, six, I've lost count. You've always known my reasons. At a certain point, you choose a person you believe in, and you fight for that person. Even if you know it's a mistake. I believe in our queen. She'll make the right choice. With the help of her loyal advisors. You know where my loyalty stands. You know I will never betray the realm. What is the realm? A vast continent home to millions of people, most of whom don't care who sits on the Iron Throne. Millions of people, many of whom will die if the wrong person sits on that throne. We don't know their names, but they're just as real as you and I. They deserve to live. They deserve food for their children. I will act in their interest, no matter the personal cost. So what happens to her? Please. Don't. I've spoken as honestly as I can. Each of us has a choice to make. I pray we choose wisely. <laughs>